Dear viewers, welcome to Northside Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. On the occasion of Christmas according to the Eastern Calendar of the Orthodox Churches, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, the Regional Director of Nursat TV in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, and the team present their warmest congratulations and most beautiful blessings, praying to God Almighty that the new year will be a year of blessing, faith, brotherhood and harmony. Now let's start with the headlines. Divine Liturgy for the Repose of the Soul of Pope Benedict XVI from the Latin Church of the Virgin of Nazareth and Sophia. Deputizing for His Majesty the King, Princess Maryam Ghazi attends the Midnight Mass at the Church of the Nativity. We also have Heads of Churches in the Holy Land, the attack on the Protestant Cemetery in Jerusalem is a systematic act of terrorism. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis presided over the funeral mass of former Pope Benedict XVI in St. Peter's Square in the Vatican in the presence of a large number of cardinals, bishops, priests, and tens of thousands of mourners who flock from different countries of the world to attend the funeral ceremonies. And during the Mass, the Pope spoke in his homily and said, O Father, into your hands I place my soul, for they are the last words that the Lord said on the cross. Continue with surrender in the hands of God, a hand for healing and mercy, and a hand for anointing and blessing. Pope Francis concluded his homily by saying, O Benedict, faithful friend of the groom, May your joy be completed in finally hearing the voice of God forever. Misericordia tuae, Pater Clementissime, Papa me meritum benedictum commitimus, quem Petri, successore constituiti, et ecclesiae pastore, non sion intrepidum verbi tui, divinorum misteriorum, fidele indispensatore. In the same context, a divine liturgy was held in the Latin Church of the Virgin of Nazareth in Swafiyya, Amman, for the repose of the soul of His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI. The Mass was presided over by His Eminence Bishop Jamal ad Abis, the Latin Archbishop in Jordan, with the participation of Monsignor Maru Lelli, Chargé d'Affaires of the Papal Embassy of Jordan, and former Latin Patriarch Fouad Atwal and Archbishop Joseph Jbara, head of the Roman Catholic Diocese. Pastor of the Maronite Church, Father Joseph Swede, Pastor of the Chaldean Church, Father Zaid Hababa, and Pastor of the Syria Catholic Church, Father Ta'ir Abba, in the presence of a number of priests, nuns, religious, civil, and diplomatic personalities, and a large crowd from various parishes, while the Fountain of Love Choir revived the Mass chants led by the maestro, Tamish Bara. Today, thinking of outlining, even briefly, the figure of Benedict is really a difficult understanding. It will take years to understand uh, all his teachings collected today in the Opera Omnia. His writings, his magnificent homilies, and his magisterium. The spirit of uh, his church was one, to combine faith and reason, fides et ratio, because in the mystery of man, fides and ratio find the real possibility of a common path. In the long history of the popes of the Catholic Church, the name of Benedict XVI will remain written among the greats. It can be said that the eight years of his pontificate from April 19, 2005 to February 28, 2013, were marked by his three important encyclicals. God as love, Deus caritas est, on the value of hope, spesalvi, and uh, on uh, social justice, 
caritas in veritate. Deputizing for His Majesty King Abdullah II, Her Highness Princess Maryam Ghazi attended the Midnight Mass for the Glorious Christmas, which was held in the Church of the Nativity in the city of Bethlehem, for churches that follow the Eastern Calendar. The Patriarch of the Holy City and all the affairs of Palestine and Jordan, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, presided over the Mass. In his sermon, he wished that peace would prevail in the land of peace and in the whole world. In her turn, Princess Maryam conveyed to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas the congratulations of His Majesty the King, the government, the Jordanian people and all Christians in the Palestinian territories on this glorious occasion. Patriarchs and heads of churches in the Holy Land condemned in a statement issued the terrorist attack on the Protestant cemetery in Mount Zion in the city of Jerusalem, considering it a systematic attack on the current historical situations in the holy places. This statement revealed the existence of footage documented by surveillance cameras dating back to the first of this month, of two men dressed as Jewish religious people destroy graves with eloquent hatred. This statement called on the concerned authorities to pursue and prosecute the perpetuators of these crimes to the fullest extent permitted by the law. They also called on religious and political leaders in the region and the world to condemn these offensive acts on religious places in the holy city. The head of the Parliamentary Foreign Affairs Committee, Khaldun Hinna, said that His Majesty King Abdullah II's speech about Jerusalem and the importance of preserving the Christian presence in it is a renewal of his affirmation in defending the Islamic and Christian sanctities there, indicating during the committee's meeting with the chairman and members of the Council of Heads of Churches in Jordan that the position of His Majesty is not new to him, as he always bears the concern of the Arab, Muslim and Christian together. In turn, the heads of the Council of Churches Heads in Jordan, Archbishop Christophorus Atallah, called for unifying positions toward preserving Jerusalem, praising Jordan's position under the leadership of His Majesty the King and preserving the Islamic and Christian sanctities in it. And for his part, the Latin Bishop of Jordan, Jamal al Abbas, reviewed the challenges facing Christians in the Holy City, affirming the Church's support for His Majesty the King's stances in preserving the holy sites in Jerusalem. His Eminence, Archbishop Christophorus, the Greek Orthodox Archbishop of Jordan, ordained Deacon Nikephorus Hanhan, a priest at the altar of the Lord. During the Divine Liturgy that was held in the Church of the Entry of the Lord into the Temple in Swafia, His Eminence addressed the new priest, saying, I command you to carry the cross of serving Christ with all humility and love to serve the flock, responsible for checking on patients. His Eminence was assisted in a service by a group of priests and deacons in the presence of the priest's family and a group of believers. On the occasion of the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, the parish of St. John de la Salle Frere Jabal Hussein celebrated the blessed occasion. In the sermon of the liturgy, the parish priest Father Ibrahim Nafa focused on the importance of baptism and how we can live the mystery of baptism in our daily lives, so we can hear the voice of God the Father saying to us as he said to his son Jesus, This is my son with whom I am well pleased. During the Mass, holy water was blessed and sprinkled on the believers. Baptism vows were also renewed, and the blessed water was distributed to the participants. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. A divine liturgy for the repose of the soul of Pope Benedict XVI from the Latin Church of the Virgin of Nazareth in Sofia. Deputizing for His Majesty the King, Princess Maryam Ghazi attends the Midnight Mass at the Church of the Nativity. Heads of churches in the Holy Land, the attack of the Protestant cemetery in Jerusalem is a systematic act of terrorism. For more information, please visit our website, nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.